All right, so thanks for coming in another video. Uh, it's going to be fairly short, but because I'm not doing anything with old, dirty, greasy stuff, I can wear a fun shirt. Uh, anyways, so we're going to be going ahead and, and assembling my ATI Super Damper. Uh, that's going to be going on that there LS2 Corvette. Uh oh, there we go. Here we go. Ow. All right, so got a hand, handful of things that are gonna be going on. We have our hub, we have our shell, the actual damper, and then we have our AC uh, pulley. So assembly is gonna go a little something like this. And that's gonna sandwich in together. I'm just going to try to eyeball this the best I can to get it aligned. And when I think I've got it, we'll get ourselves two of these short bolts with a little bit of Loctite. And we're just going to go ahead and start to uh, snug these down. All right, so those two are in. We're gonna go ahead and get our remaining four. One, two, three, four. We'll get those guys started. Um, and then we'll go ahead and get ready to assemble the, the pulley. All right, so we got our six bolts in to start. And again, the dish side that actually has engraved engine side, that's gonna face away from the nice pretty label because it's gonna be sitting on the engine. So what we have now is we've got three different um, holes that are just blind holes and then our AC pulley is actually tapped for those uh, bolts. On the back of this AC pulley, <laughs> these six holes, um, they're not the same size. So make sure when you're do when you're assembling this, go ahead and index that for the proper size. God. Now sometimes uh, my genius impresses me. All right. Now we have our, our damper loosely assembled. Time to go to the next step. According to our fancy instructions, um, it tells us what torque spec to go to. If you bought one of these, you got these instructions or you look it up online, you can see what that value is. All right, so assembly is done. Are we done with the actual uh, setup and install? Not quite. So, bringing in my factory crank bolt, seal, and then there's also this diamond impregnated washer. I'm not using that. So, what does that mean for us? Well, you've seen this in the background already. Got some high temp uh, RTV, and that's gonna be filling up this keyway. All right, so we've got some RTV in our keyway. I'm gonna clean up the edges. All right, and we are done. Except for a little bit of uh, final cleanup with the rag. Um, damper is assembled and it is ready to go on the car. All right, so learn some things. Um, I'll link it in the description below, but the torque test channel, um, 
they just did top 10 like torque wrench torque myths um on their channel and one of those was loctite and does adding loctite uh increase or decrease your your uh tightening value uh basically the short version is uh if your loctite is expired throw it away get some fresh loctite and use that so uh i just removed all of my fasteners and re chase the threads um, with tap and die on the screws or the bolts and on the damper and put some good Loctite in. So check your Loctite guys. Yeah, and that's uh, that's the finished project. Anyways, if you enjoyed this, um, if you learned something, if it's helpful, whatever it might've been, um, it would be nice to, to get a comment saying so down below. And uh, yeah, follow me for, for more Corvette adventures.